Hello, my name is Deniz Arsan. I am a fifth year PhD student at University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Today, I will be presenting app-based task shortcuts for virtual assistants. Although virtual assistants automate a variety of everyday tasks, their capabilities are still dwarfed by what users can accomplish with existing mobile apps. Therefore, virtual assistant platforms have started leveraging apps to augment their capabilities. Existing approaches for interfacing with apps, however, require manual development efforts. We present Savant, a system that automatically generates task shortcuts for virtual assistants by mapping user tasks to relevant UI screens and apps. Savant uses these shortcuts to launch apps at task-relevant screens. Here we see when the task description send money was given, Savant automatically launches the PayPal app at its relevant screen. In this next example, we see that Savant is able to perform slot filling. When given the task description, Show Me Songs by Taylor Swift, Savant uses intent modeling to parse the entity and maps it to the relevant UI input. This last example shows how Savant handles launching UI states that require prior input. Given the task description, Order Cappuccino from Starbucks, Savant identifies the task relevant screen and replays the existing interaction trace to reach it, selecting the required menu elements along the way. Now, let's take a look at how Savant generates task shortcuts. Savant leverages data captured through interaction mining, which comprise interaction traces. Interaction traces illustrate users' journeys within an app and encode screenshots, render time properties, and gestures for each screen. Savant extracts semantic information from these interaction traces using prior work and computes screen representations that are used to find the best matching screens for a given user task. A screen representation contains icons, buttons, and the text fields on the original screen. We also found that including app descriptions from the Google Play Store provides better matches. In addition, these representations include programmatic references, the Android activities, which can be used to directly launch an app at a specific UI state. There is also a pointer to the interaction trace leading up to the screen, which is used when a screen cannot be launched directly. Savant matches task queries to semantic information contained within representations via keyword search. A search result contains a set of representations with their corresponding relevance scores indicating how well the screens match the query. The top screen representation from the highest scoring app is called a task shortcut. To demonstrate how task shortcuts can be used, we encapsulated Savant within a system-level Android app. Android apps can restrict the activities that can be started externally from other apps, but system-level apps can bypass this restriction. Using the activity field within the task shortcut, Savant first tries to automatically launch the app at the task-relevant screen. Savant is able to perform slot filling on the task-relevant screens through a dialog flow agent. This agent extracts relevant intent entity information from user utterances, and Savant uses this information to perform slot filling and interact with relevant UI components. Directly launching the activity may sometimes fail as some activities require prior user input to be launched because they require a specific internal state for those screens to be accessible. When this happens, Savant uses the trace field in the task shortcut and replaces the interactions leading up to the component. Although Savant's main goal is to interface with virtual assistants and help them with tasks they do not know how to handle, end users can also directly use Savant through the app. Savant is not a task automation system, and it does not replicate the functionality of existing programming by demonstration systems, which are more akin to supervised learning. Savant is an unsupervised search system. It does not generalize or automate. It merely finds the best matching app screen for a given task. In this way, Savant complements existing task automation systems by automatically choosing the right app and launching it at a task-relevant screen. In order to evaluate Savant's performance, we conducted two user studies, one formative study to identify common user tasks and another study to evaluate Savant's performance. We first conducted a formative study with 24 participants to identify classes of commonly performed smartphone tasks. We asked each participant to list five tasks they would complete on a smartphone, which resulted in a total of 120 tasks. We grouped these tasks into 20 unique sets and chose a 
representative tasks from each set. We then conducted a second study with three participants to evaluate Savant's performance. We bootstrapped Savant with the RICO dataset and computed the top three task shortcuts for each representative task. We showed the participants the top three results returned by Savant and asked them to evaluate whether or not each screen was task relevant. We then computed top three precision values for the 20 task sets. The average precision over all task sets was 70.1%. Here are some top results for the selected representative tasks. The percentage values in parentheses indicate the precision Savant achieved for the task. You can also see the matched UI elements highlighted in orange. For message friends, you can see the message and add friend icons highlighted on the screen. The text fields containing the exact query words and synonyms were also matched. For send money, we see that the relevant icon buttons and text highlighted. Check weather only had two matching icons on its task relevant screen. Although this might seem like a low number of matches for a top scoring screen, it indicates that either the selected app had multiple task relevant screens or its Google Play description contained large number of matches. Similarly, for queries, listen to music and set an alarm, we see menu items and icons being highlighted. Order food only had two matching text fields, which might again be explained by the additional data Savant considers when selecting a screen. Savant performed poorly for some of the representative tasks. The top result for read books was from hotels.com, which highlights the limitation that Savant is currently unable to distinguish between verbs and nouns. For take notes, Savant returned a shortcut from a domain-specific app, MyPale Bird Control Reminder. This app allows taking notes as a side feature. Finally, for turn off lights, Savant suggested a shortcut from the app Blue Light Filter, which allows configuring screen lighting for the night while the participants were expecting apps for managing smart home devices. A real-world deployment of Savant would require strategies for maintaining a repository of app traces, addressing potential security and privacy concerns, and expanding to platforms beyond the Android ecosystem. For sourcing traces, relying only on paid crowd workers like Rico did for sourcing high-quality app traces would not scale. Therefore, we envision a future ecosystem where app interaction traces could be sourced in two additional ways. App developers could include sample interaction traces along with their apps when they update it, and interaction traces can be directly mined from user devices through an on-device interaction mining app which could record users' interactions on their smartphones as they engage with apps. There are also security and privacy concerns Savant would need to address. Savant leverages a system-level app because it requires two special permissions to automatically navigate users to task-relevant UI screens. This means for a security problem to occur, the trace Savant uses for a task shortcut needs to contain malicious UI screens and interactions. This is rather unlikely since Google Play Store already has measures to detect and prevent the installation of such apps. In addition, Savant faces the risk of exposing personally identifiable information of its users, as with any system that leverages user interaction data. One solution is to create and provide SOC Puppet accounts that trace contributors can use to explore apps. However, this solution would not be applicable for a potential on-device mining system that records interaction from real users. An ideal solution would be to process UI screens when they are first recorded to automatically detect and remove PII. However, current automated methods would only cover conventional PII like social security numbers, email addresses, and phone numbers. Further research is required to develop user-centered privacy models that identify sensitive information beyond what is conventionally considered as PII. In the future, on-device mining systems could expose interfaces where end-users can redact sensitive information from their personal traces. Lastly, in the future, Savant could interface with iOS apps and apps deployed on smart devices like televisions, watches, and other appliances. Mining and programmatically interacting with iOS apps and non-touchscreen UIs could extend this approach even further. Thank you for listening. I would be happy to answer any questions you may have.